Yes, it is, Sabine. Uh, probably too long. I've um, I've had a lot of a lot of reasons to come here. My son's been here six times, so it's crazy that I'm at my age in life, and yeah, I haven't uh, haven't experienced this before. I'm a little bit annoyed now. Probably at my age, it was almost a consummate holiday to relax. So that was our reason. We're, we're quite busy lives. Me and my wife, we uh, we got got passionate about things that we do in Australia, both in football and life, and we just wanted to come here and, and take it easy. So that's yeah, it was a great reason. Most probably yeah, best reason we've had for a while. You know, if you go on holidays, most places in the world, there's a perfect spot. What we wanted to do was just to chill. Oh, look, that's quite simple, I, I suppose. Uh, at my age, uh, the people. Um, I'm a Kiwi, and, and what resonates with most Kiwis is, is culture. Um, yeah, I just, I, lo I loved, as soon as I arrived, uh, the people. Um, I've said this a number of times since I've been here, you can get a king-size bed in the beach anywhere in the world, but people make the place, make the, make the occasion. So I've, I've been really taken back by just the genuine Balinese people. It's just, yeah, I've only been here three days, but it's just, yeah, I'm really taken back and I, I, uh, I'm trying to get as much of the culture in as before I go back. Um, I, I think you can, you should have come to Bali, I think you can come here a hundred times and never get everything done. Um, we just did this, I went to the temple, I learned a little bit the temple, it's like, like apparently it's like 1100 uh, AD, like it's an old temple, like 8,000 years old. Um, I love the monkeys, they're just so really cool, really naughty and clever and all the other little things. Um, went to a, a, like a coffee plantation um, and then I just watched the sunset, you know, and just, yeah, that. I've watched sunset about four or five different places around the world and it's just as beautiful here. Uh, we were at Semiak last night, so that was pretty cool. Oh, it's the people. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, you can travel. I've travelled the world enough to, to know that people and the culture and, the, and the, they make the place. So yeah, I've, I've been very fortunate to do a lot of travelling. And I can, yeah, I can say that, yeah, definitely the Balinese people, and for the short, period, short amount of time, yeah, it's been really, really nice. So that's quite easy. And I'm going to take in as much culture as I can as well. Luxury. The best, the best of, the best of what on offer. Yeah, so what you, you, and I guess you can expect that, but it doesn't always get delivered. Uh, and like I said, I'm old enough to have traveled the world, so you, and I'm not saying I'm Donald Trump, but you know, you just, you just go around the world and you see a lot of places. So yeah, this is luxury. This is, you know, and a, and a really, really, again, a people and the place. Yeah, it's, it's, Any, anything uh, anything like a group like the Karma Group that supports us, which supports what we're doing, like at the end of every football season, this is where you need to come. If we do anything professionally in our lives, we get beaten up 10, 10 months of the year. So when I get, if you're going to get beaten up playing rugby or rugby league, what we've done, this is the place to come to recover. This is, you know, this is rehabilitation in itself. So the people, uh, how they take care of you, uh, you can recharge. This is where you come to the Karma Resorts to recharge and to go back and do what you do really well again. So I, I think it's a place to recover and, and, and recharge yourself. Uh, three, three or four. Oh yeah, yeah. As soon as you, uh, we play bare feet till you're about seven or eight. Yeah, so you just, and being a, being a New Zealand or a Kiwi boy, yeah, you were chasing kids and trying to beat them up when you were three or four years old. So um, I played rugby till I was about 17 and switched over to league. But yeah, as soon as you can, uh, as soon as you can catch a ball, you play rugby. Um, yeah, my, my, I think my mother, my, 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 my two really wonderful parents. My dad had a good work ethic. He didn't play any professional sport, but he used to work six days a week, and, and that's all what I saw. So he, had, he taught me a really good work ethic. But my mother was a bit of a sports person. She was a really good at athletics, um, and she taught me uh, uh, just competitive nature. My mum would want to win, uh, and if I didn't win, I was I was only supposed to try as I was supposed to try as hard as I can. So. I think my mother taught me a really competitive nature, which helped, and my dad gave me a work ethic to be to work harder than everybody else. Don't do what they're doing, because that's what you'll get. And I wanted to get more than that, so I guess just great parents, but some really good ethics there. And the good thing about coaching too is this there's, there's so much other than that, the funny part about that, you know, is uh, 
I've now realised how important SPAR is for life off the field. So if you're playing for me, you're somebody that'll work hard on your attitude off the field and on the field. So there's, there's a real, um, I guess, responsibility to make sure that when you play for me, you're a good person, not just a good player. So I work really hard on young men and women to, to be good people, to be good players. Um, I, I had two wonderful moments. I played in two World Cups, uh, being being part of, you know, probably one of the one of the best teams in New Zealand for those 1988 and 1995. So you feel very grateful to represent your country, and at, and at that level, you're playing in two very significant moments. So um, yeah, they're, they're, you wouldn't separate the two because they're, 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 yeah, they're just they're pretty cool, pretty cool achievement, but. Uh, I'm very grateful as well. Oh, without a doubt, my voice. Yeah, it's uh, it's been too long. Yeah, I'll. Um, my son's been here six times. I'll be in front of him in a few years' time. Great place. <laughs>